You were wonderful, Ali. You scared him after death. Yes, well, now, come on. Father wants us to find Aunt Edith. On the road to Gloucester, my feet started to bleed. I remembered a cobbler who lived nearby in the town of Haystead who could sell us some boots. But taking the detour would cost us both money and time. In the afternoon, the sky darkened and the temperature dropped drastically. We considered setting up camp to allow us an opportunity to warm our worn down feet. However, we were already running low on food and would soon need to reach our destination. Richard had been silent for a while when I offered him our last piece of bread. Uncle Simon will make you a knight, I said. But wouldn't I have to fight for King Stephen then, he answered, taking a bite out of the dry crust. I watched him for a while, then turned away, wondering how difficult our lives had become and how infinitely more complicated. In the hills, there are a lot of poor small holdings. We asked a shepherd for directions to Huntley. It's just down the road, he answered. I thanked him and gave Richard a hopeful push. It's all burned and rotting. Auntie and Uncle must have left some time ago. Maybe they built their new home nearby. A proper one made of stone. They always had coin enough for a stone house anyway. Maybe this isn't even the right house. It is. How would you know? It's been a long time since we came here with Father. These houses all look alike. Shut up, Ali. Please. They're gone. Probably killed. Whatever happened to them? We will never find out. It's over. There's no place for us to go. Give up. Mm.
Oh, good day again. Good day. Huntley is just down that road. You can't miss it. I know. We just found out that the people we've been looking for aren't there anymore. Oh, that's a shame. Do you know what happened to the owners of that burned-down house down the road? It's not Simon you're looking for, is it? Why, yes. A while ago, some knights came to his house, nasty bunch. Burned it down, said he was part of some scheme against the king, like his brother, the Earl. What happened to Simon and his wife? Dunno, haven't seen any of them since. I understand. Thank you. What are you doing? Getting all the work done. My wife is ill, so I have to do it alone. Needs to be done by nightfall, otherwise I won't get them to Winchester tomorrow. Why are you asking? We were supposed to live here with our uncle and aunt, but since they're gone, we need to find another way to get by. My prayers are with you. We could help you shear your sheep. Nah, never let a stranger handle your flock. Besides, I have nothing to pay you with. We're penniless. We could take the wool to Winchester for you. You could stay at home and look after your wife while we sell your stock. Well, that would be kind of you. But I couldn't trust you to negotiate the right price and bring the money back safely. What if I bought the wool from you? You'd get the money right now and wouldn't have to go to market anymore. And whatever more we can negotiate will be the pay for our travels. Well, that's an interesting thought. But for that to work, you would need to buy my entire stock, and I doubt you have coin for that. Now let me get back to work. The sun will set soon. How much for one sack? Just name your price. One and a half pounds. I want to see the wool first. All right, have a look. Let's see. Huh, these fleeces are quite thin. I put the cheap ones on top, in case of rain. Mm, the ones deeper down don't look that much better. Well, I couldn't wait for the wool to grow any thicker. My family is hungry and weak. I had to shear my sheep early this year. All right. I can offer you one pound. That's less than what merchants in Winchester would offer. You can't expect me to pay as much as a merchant would. Why not? Look, I'm not only offering you money here, but also the chance to stay here with your wife. You wouldn't have to worry about your wool anymore, because that would be my problem then. But it'll only work if I can sell everything for more than I paid you here. Hmm. You're smart. Well, all right. It's one pound per sack. Here. I'll finish shearing old Mabel here, then bring out the rest I've got. Maybe you also want to talk to the other shepherds around here. They might want to sell too. Ah, all right. Thank you. By the way, there is a man looking for you. He came by just shortly after you. I told him you went to Huntley. What man? Dunno. Brown scruffy hair, beard, black horse. Could be he rode right past you. That old hut is not easy to find. Shall I give him a message if he turns up again? Tell him we left Huntley for good. I will. Now let me get those sacks for you. I 
wonder what Richard will think of this. I should have involved him with my decision. What did we do wrong, Ali? Why is God punishing us? We did nothing wrong, little brother. It's just the first time we're facing difficulties that other people go through their entire lives. But there is nowhere for us to go. We're commoners now. Commoners who never learn to do common work and... We both swore an oath to Father. If we don't get the Elden back, we will go to hell. We could become wool merchants. What do we know about wool? We know from Meg that a lot of shepherds complain about their walk to Winchester. What if we did that for them? And what about me becoming a knight? Uncle Simon's not the only one who'd take you as a squire. If we collected enough money, we could pay another knight to teach you. It might work. Right? We've had some bad luck till now, but surely not everyone is a fiend. It'll take some time, but we should be able to gradually increase our income. All we need to do is have a lot of patience and pray to God. Ah! Richard! Lord Hamley caught me riding the horse you stole from him. Ah! He told me before I take you back, I can have some fun with you. Ah! 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 Get away from him! <laughs> Richard! Richard, are you all right? What happened? <laughs> oh, you're alive! <laughs> you're alive! Why are you crying? We are both alive. <laughs>